Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome back to the Bracketology of Coffee. This is Season 5, Round 2. This season does not have a theme, but the winner will be moving on to Season 6, where winners from the first five seasons will battle it out to see who's best of the best. Let me introduce today's coffees. First up, Copper Moon Coffee. This is the Costa Rican blend. The origin is Costa Rica and something else. This 12 ounce bag goes for $11.99. It's a medium roast and they ranked number four in my brackets. Going up against Mick Cafe, their breakfast blend. Origin is unknown. This 12 ounce bag goes for $5.23. It's a uh, light roast and they ranked number five in my brackets. Let me explain how this competition works. The coffees are prepared in a French press. The recipe I use is one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep the coffee for four minutes. The competition consists of two halves. The first half, I drink the coffees black fresh out of the French press, and in the second half, I add some cream. I score each round out of 100, allowing for a maximum possible score of 200 points. Let me get these coffees brewing and I'll be right back. Coffee's done brewing, I'm just letting it cool off a little bit. But as you can see, I am no longer in my pop-up camper. It's actually been about eight months since I've done a coffee video, and uh, it was kind of bugging me that I never finished season five. So that's what I am on a mission to do. I'm actually living in Avon, Colorado, staying at a pod hotel called Cohabit. And I'll put the website on the screen if you ever get in the area. This is a super cool spot. We're just three miles from Beaver Creek Resort and 10 miles from Vail Resorts. I'll actually be working at Vail Resorts this winter, so pretty pumped about that. But wanted to mention something before we get started. 25% of the population is thought to be a super taster. I am not a super taster. I consider myself an average taster. What I look for in coffee is drinkability, something that is smooth and flavorful with a pleasing aftertaste. So let's get this thing going. The way it works, I drink the coffees twice. First taste, I'm just getting an overview, and the second taste, I'll give them a score. Let's go ahead and get started with this Costa Rican blend from Copper Moon Coffee. You gotta check out this new coffee mug my parents bought me while they were in town from Leadville, Colorado. The mug is from Leadville, my parents are from Michigan. <laughs> it's my new favorite mug. Here we go. So as I mentioned, this is a Costa Rican blend, and I used to own, own a coffee shop. We brewed Costa Rican coffee every third day, I believe. It was considered a varietal. Um, not picking up any hints of the Costa Rican coffee, to be honest with you, but it doesn't taste too bad. Um, we'll see what I find on the second taste. Let me get an overview on this <clears throat> breakfast blend from McCafe. I'm a huge fan of the light roast coffees, as some of you might know. Yeah, that's delicious. Very smooth, very flavorful. That's why I tend to gravitate towards the light roasts. For some reason, they do just have more flavor. But let's uh, let's go ahead and get a score on this Costa Rican blend from Copper Moon. So I got to mention something about this. Um, okay, so the price. I got to talk about this. I bought it eight months ago when I was doing when I first started season five, and I paid eleven ninety nine for this twelve ounce bag. When I went back to buy it this most recent time, it was actually quite hard to find. I was only able to find it on Amazon. They offered three of these 12-ounce bags for 
So I know some grocery stores do offer this coffee. I'm not sure why it seems to be a little bit hard to find right now. But so three 12 ounce bags for $19.99 is obviously a pretty good price. Um, but I did have to mention that really quickly. So let's go ahead and get a score on this Costa Rican blend. Yeah, I told myself, now that I'm back into tasting coffees again, I'm going to be more real with my feelings. I think I was always afraid that I would hurt somebody's feelings if I didn't say the right thing because I'm not a super taster, but I'm not a fan of this Costa Rican blend. It tastes like an office coffee. Um, you know, a lot of coffees do that. It'll be like a Jamaican Blue Mountain blend or a Kona blend, and all that really means is like maybe 5 or 10% of the beans are Costa Rican and the rest is something else. Nobody really knows what. Um, it's it's somewhat drinkable. There's not a lot of flavor there. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give them a 78 in the first half. All right, let's move on to this McCafe. This is the breakfast blend. That coffee's delicious. I know a lot of people probably laugh because it is a McDonald's coffee, but they do a really good job with this light roast, this breakfast blend. Um, I could drink that all day long. I really like that one. Let's go ahead and give them... Uh, I'm going to give them an 88 in the first half. So, um, as you can see, I'm actually coming to you from my pod in the pod hotel. This is pod 23. These pods are awesome. They're pretty soundproof. Um, they got a set of bunk beds in here, just enough space to change your clothes and all this stuff. And since it's just me, I'm able to use the top bunk for storage and whatnot. But this is my new favorite thing, uh, is just hanging out in my pod. And I watch some Hulu videos, and now I'm actually recording coffee videos. So let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to add a little bit of cream, and we'll be back for the second half of this competition. Don't go anywhere. for the second half of this competition. I added about a tablespoon of half and half to each one of these coffees and I'm going to do the same thing. Taste them once for an overview and give them a score on the second taste. And once again we'll start with this Costa Rican blend from Copper Moon. Now as you know I didn't really care for this coffee in the first half but um, adding cream to the coffee tends to change the flavor profile altogether. So first half, I just kind of throw that out the window and start fresh with the second half and see what I think all over again. So this is the Copper Moon Costa Rican blend. <clears throat> so that office coffee flavor that I mentioned has kind of gone away. Some other flavor has kind of come to the forefront. Can't really tell what it is. Um, it's not super appealing, but it, it the flavor has been enhanced by the half and half for sure. So let me get an overview on this breakfast blend from McCafe. I love everything about that coffee. The price, the flavor, drinkability, so smooth. I'm a huge fan. They, um, like I said, because they are McDonald's coffee, people tend to overlook them, but um, they're going to do well in this competition, I believe. So, all right. Time to get a score on this Costa Rican blend from Copper Moon. The Copper Moon was actually recommended to me by uh, one of my YouTube subscribers. He didn't recommend the Costa Rican blend, he recommended uh, one of their dark roasts, but I'm not a huge fan of dark roasts, so I actually went with a Costa Rican blend, but um, that being said, Copper Moon might have some really good coffees out there, but let's go ahead and get a score. Yeah, 
yeah, the flavor's been enhanced. It's just <clears throat> not great. I couldn't, the drinkability for me just isn't there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them an 81 in the second half. All right. Time for the McCafe. Let's get, give them a score. delicious um, that's really good I'm gonna go ahead and give them a 94 in the second half all right Logan let me go ahead that's the cat that's the caffeine talking right there when I take two words and put them together like that <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and tell you these results we'll be right back to declare a winner in this season five round two competition thanks for watching to declare a winner first up we had the Costa Rican blend from Copper Moon they scored 78 in the first half 81 in the second half for a total of 159 I would not recommend this coffee um, first of all it was kind of hard to find second of all I don't taste Costa Rica in it anywhere uh, for me the drinkability wasn't there and um, so I am not putting my seal of approval on this. They went up against McCafe, the breakfast blend. They scored an 88 in the first half, 94 in the second half, for a total of 182. Definitely recommend this coffee, especially at the price point they're at. They're easy to find. You can pick them up at Walmart. You can pick them up at Kroger, anywhere you want to go. And... Uh, as I said, definitely recommend this coffee, but they are our season five round two winner. They'll be moving on to the next round, but that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Coffee Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.